Look at the monitor compared to that. Hi everyone. Today we have our hands on the brand new and very difficult to obtain ASUS OLED PG278QDM. Now this is ASUS's first OLED monitor. Now this coincides with the LG release of their 27 inch OLED monitor. Both monitors feature a 1440p resolution and 240 hertz refresh rate. We all heard about the LG OLED that was coming out, but we weren't really hearing about the ASUS version. I can tell you that this is a better monitor. ASUS incorporated a custom heatsink to put behind the panel so that it does not get as dim as the LG version. So let's get started. Comment what you guys think, how you guys think the monitor is going to play out. So it looks like we got some paper, ASUS stickers. We got a color calibration testing report. So we have the stand. It's the feet it kind of project the ASUS logo on the ground, which is really cool. We got a pouch. They gave us a pouch for the cables, premium. USB cable that connects to your computer. So your USB ports on your monitor can accept inputs for your computer. A display port cable, and we got an HDMI. We got something over here. Whoa, what the? F you know what this is for? Why'd they give us a blank one? Okay, so you know how I said? You project the logo on the ground. This is for the ASUS logo, so you can get this laser engraved so the Paradox logo can be on the bottom. And they gave you two more. So you can switch it out. You can go Paradox logo, you can go Call of Duty logo, you can do whatever you want. Very cool, very cool. Yo, I think it's thin. This is the projector. So this is your base. There's push pins here that have me a little confused. Let's get the stand open. Stands like that. Let's find out. Do you guys see how thin that is? So you get access to two HDMI, one display port, and some USB ports, headphone port. Peel off the plastic that's in the way. Magnetic, it only works one way. That way. Now we're going to install the monitor. That easy. The stand has a screw hole for like a mount. So you can put like a camera, I guess, DSLR on there. Wow. All right, next we're gonna peel. Peel, 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 peel. Ta da! The response time is 0.03 milliseconds response time. The other thing to note, the OLEDs can support 10-bit color. The HDMI on this only supports 10-bit color at 30 FPS. Or 60. It's not 240 at all. So unfortunately, we're limited to 8-bit color at DisplayPort. So what do you guys feel think about that? Deal breaker? Or you don't even know what that means? Early impressions on the looks is this is clearly the sexiest monitor ever. Power saving. Standard mode setting may result in higher power consumption. Yes. I'm gonna start over, I'm gonna start over. Yeah, the video playback doesn't do it justice. That is super colorful. Look at the monitor compared to that.
crew! Everyone! Bodies. Holy shit. Is that a 4K video? It's mad thin, yo. My life. Not yo, oh, you, you can, probably put it light. That doesn't matter. You have lighter cameras. That looks really good. Nah, yo, this looks like the store display. So, we finally got Call of Duty loaded up. So, we're gonna run some multiplayer and some Warzone. We're gonna show you guys some awesome frame rate, too, to show you that I'm getting the max amount of frame rate on this monitor so I can give the most unbiased opinion on the experience. Alright guys, so we're done testing this monitor, we just played Star Wars Jedi Survivor, Call of Duty MW2, and some Counter-Strike GO. And I must say, if you guys can get your hands on this monitor, it's $1,000 and it's worth every penny. The main competitor to this is the LG monitor, but I'd highly recommend the ASUS. Interface is better, um, the brightness is better, and that's going to be all guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys later.